All right, I think that is, yeah, the, 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 the light. So that's the start finish line. Uh, it's it's a very interesting and challenging circuit. Uh, huge straight lines. They're breaking for small chicane, and then we're going through a huge, 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 huge part of high speed uh, corners. We use no much braking, so very long left here. Um, again, a very long right here. I know all the pretty much flat out section here. Bit of a braking here for that one. Close this a little bit. Same thing here, a bit more tight. But a uh, bit of a snap on exit. Uh, another small chicane here. Bit of curbing. Long left corner. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a track that I've never raced, and I don't know very well yet where it's going. But I can definitely tell you that in terms of energy management, it's going to be such a huge challenge. Um, because there aren't many braking. So, you know, in a Formula E race, what you would do is lift and coast to save the energy. But here, because there aren't any braking zone. Uh, it, it is it is very tricky to lift and coast uh, and that's the last corner already oh missed the apex badly missed the apex uh, but yeah how how do you save your energy on a track like this so I think it's gonna be a real uh, huge strategy into the race not to be first to use the other guy's slipstream and uh, yeah to to go to the end so very very different circuit from having we've had until now um, very very wide very fast with not a lot of braking so I guess it's gonna be one of those rounds that you really want to watch because it's definitely gonna be more in your head than on your driving style to win that race